Hey guys. All right. So as always, it's been a while. I was waiting YouTube forever, but I come today with a product review. But before I give the product review, um, before I give the product review, I do have a big announcement. I am moving this week. Um, it's been in the works for a while. Um, getting a new apartment and all that stuff. So this will be my first time like living by myself, and I'm so scared. Like, what if I get evicted? I don't know. But we'll we'll make it. Also, um, I have a Twitter. Guys, follow me, please, if you think about it. Um, yeah, I'm not too doing so good on getting followers, and I would love somebody to follow me. I'm trying to be open to Twitter, Twitter, and all the technology's greatness. So anyway, I am reviewing something today that I don't even know if it's really like out out yet, but I figured I'd still go ahead and do a review on it because I've used it twice. So it is. Talia Wajid's Curl Sealer. All right. Let me just put it up there. All right. So, first off, let me show you how mainstream she's trying to get. Or maybe something happened legally with her Black Earth products. But notice that the Black Earth logo is nowhere there anymore. It's now like this little flower and premium quality natural hair product since 1996. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna harp on that, but whatever. So we'll go ahead and warn you. Um, I don't know if I said this in any of my videos, but I have stopped being pretty much at this point an ingredient snob. Why? Because I'm a product junkie, and there's a lot of stuff that I really want to try that I was keeping myself from, but I say no longer. So judge me, do whatever you want. I don't care. It's all right. Life goes on. So anyway. Um, this is, um, basically, it's supposed to be a light alcohol-free conditioning gel that defines shapes and seals in any size or texture of curl. So, um, basically, I guess it's kind of supposed to be like an all-in-one. Um, it's supposed to stop frizz, add shine, shape, seal, yeah, all that great stuff. Leave it, oh, here's the thing. It's supposed to be leave-in conditioning. All right, so this is. Oh, I have a hair. I have a hair. Oh, how embarrassing! All right, this is what it looks like. It's pretty much clear. Okay, all right, and it it really is like a gel. Okay, or whatever. So it's not the heaviest thing in the world, or whatever. All right, so let me go ahead and tell you like what's in here to give to be aware of. You have issues with DMDM how to twang that I once had. It's in here, so leave it alone. Um, there are polyquats in here, meaning polyquater, polyquaternium, and it's number 10 and number 37. The thing with polyquats is uh, I've known for some time and known about is that they can cause like really bad buildup. Like pretty much almost kind of like with cones, like to be used to me, so cones should get build up and stuff won't products won't work as well or um, you'll get like the you basically like this film on your hair so with polyquats you kind of have to watch it and make sure that you are clarifying correctly like you probably will have to use a shampoo to get it out most likely instead of trying to use like a gentle cleanser for your hair um, so rest of the stuff is good though um, Yara extract, Jua extract, Ahua extract, lemon extract, mint extract, soap bark extract, and the polysorber 20, and then fragrance. So the fragrance isn't too bad. It's, well, if you, um, it's like the usual Tuliwaji fragrance smell, if that makes any sense. So it kind of has that fruity smell or whatever. So, um, what I did was, this is, like I said, this is my second time using it. So what I did was, um, the first application I did was very thorough and I was very impressed it claims that it will not dry hard um, and that is very much true it did not dry hard on me at all um, however I think I put it past its test limits when I actually was going out that night and I ended up having to wait in line to get into the club and um, Lord have mercy God opened forth the heavens that night and um, it was just too much and water with sprays uh, so up to the point before I got to the club I went to a step shell it was great it was awesome got my roots really well just great definition like I said no hard hold today I did it again 
And this time, I didn't do a as thorough application. I did bigger sections, bigger chunks, because I was trying to get the hell out the door. But um, I still love the results. Okay, I still feel like it's very great. I still got the roots really well. Oh, warning, glycerin. So check your dew points. My dew points were safe today, so I used it. So, like I said, these are my results. This is what happens to my hair after it finishes doing its shrinking and everything else. Um, okay, like these are the results or whatever. So, um, I think it did pretty well. All things considering, I mean, you could tell the sections that I kind of missed because they kind of got guide a little bit. But you see that, like, I still have movement. I still have body. I forgot to seal with an oil because I'm sorry, I just can't. I need to seal with something. And so what I did was um, I got some of the Coils by Nature butter that this lady had at a natural hair booth. And I took some of the sample and I just like, you know, a little bit. And then I just put it through my hair and then I was good to go. So once again, did not dry hard at all. Okay. So I'm very pleased with this. This would be a great little cheap little well, cheap thing to use my beauty supply store abracadabra sold it for eight dollars and 99 cents so for what it is um thank you to leah for not charging like a heavy amount of money knowing that you know you got some filler ingredients in here but whatever um you know so i like the results um it's actually wash day so i'm washing my hair anyway um what else that's pretty much it. I can't really think of anything. Oh, drying time. It didn't take my this stuff to dry at all. I washed my hair. I wet my hair. Like, mm, 9.30, 9.45, whatever. I started applying it. I was done by 10.30. My hair was dry by like 12. So that wasn't bad at all. Like, it, drew, it dried so fast. And I didn't even ride with the windows rolled down. So, anyway. That's all I've got. If you got any questions, let me know. Follow me on Twitter. Bye.